A strong cell implant using a liposuction tissue related uh, implant from the abdomen for grade 3 arthritis of the knee, which you can see here. Patient not keen on knee replacement, and uh, I think they should give her a decent chance of uh, uh, getting uh, the natural knee. These are all the syringes and candida. The candida is here. Uh, so we are starting with what is known as three tunneling and we aim to get about 100 ml of uh, adipose tissue start the adipose tissue harvesting with a special cannula it's amazing how the mesenchymal stem cells uh, are known to differentiate into cartilage each colored liquid, almost like a seasonal case of curry juice, mango juice. <laughs> That's the color and almost consistency. Mm. Uh, very few people have an idea about the actual color of the fat, but this is what it actually looks like. About uh, 40 ml of uh, adipose liquid fat some more uh, uh, adipose tissue then we will uh, add it to the existing uh, adipose tissue which is here and create a complete uh, collection Plat uh, platelet rich plasma which we have collected from the patient's blood sample earlier and uh, the one at the bottom, okay, you can withdraw it in the syringe. This is the left knee where we are injecting the platelet rich plasma. This is the lateral joint line. The leg is dangling so that the gravity opens up the joint. This is the platelet rich plasma, which is a leukocyte pore, as we call it, which is, and the needle goes smoothly inside and the PRP is going without any resistance which is the way it should go okay this is the fat available to us yes, the volume yes. is almost more than 50 ml okay, ideally good. we require 50 ml yeah so Eric, please carry on we have, yes, yeah we have taken some extra fat so that when the tumescent liquid drops out we, we have get the, exact the actual volume 50, ml. 50 ml now we have this uh, ducts of a different sizes so with the micronization which we are going to do, that is we are going to use the larger one 2.4 first, yes. followed by 2 mm, then followed by 1.2 mm. Okay. This process for one uh, duct is repeated for uh, 2 minutes okay. with each. So that within 6 minutes we complete the entire process. Okay, let's get started. Yeah. Yes, sir. Let us wait for 10 minutes so that it settles down. So now we are just uh, preparing the final uh, adipose tissue Easier. Yes. Right. So we are for uh, micronization. So this is 2.4 yes. and we are sucking it through the 2.4. Okay, from here they are pushing and here they are... Yes, uh, and then gradually as you can see with the other filters. We have smaller and smaller filters. The next one is two millimeter. Okay. Like that, okay, you go okay. to one point two all the way okay, down. Okay. So that's micronization. That can block even the metal uh, yeah. duct. cannula duct. How easy it would be for the fat to block the arteries of the body, which are so mm. soft. Yeah, and that's what we are doing. Push me pull me. We're getting about 50 ml? Yes. Just tell me when we have 50 ml. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll 45. Uh, put more. Bit done, man. 50. Yeah. The normal saline. Uh -huh. Okay. This is the 50 ml adipose. Okay. Which is micronized. Yes. You can see the color, how pure it is. Yes. 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 Very true. Ultrasonification. So there's the ultrasonification machine uh, where the fat is there and then we've got the balancer. So the frequency of nearly 2900 HS at Z. 
centrifuge machine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are going to do it for 3,200 RPM for 10 minutes. Okay. Start. Yes. yes start. Okay, start. The, uh, the extract ready in about 10 minutes, which we will be injecting in the knee. That is the double uh, cell implant. Just see what we have got. Okay. This is SVF. Okay. okay. So the red pink is the yes. uh, is the SVF component. Yes. yes. Yeah. So we can take up to six and I'll go up to six seven. Yes. So just to balance it, we need to ensure that the volume is maintained. Final centrifugation. Yes. Pellet at the bottom is of stromal vascular fat cells from which we'll get mesenchymal stem cells to the knee. Okay, let's just collect it now. The lateral joint line of the knee. Okay, just aspirate a little bit, should go in smoothly, there without any obstacle. This is uh, Dr. Teo Butch, a consultant orthopedic surgeon and one of our missions is to try and save the natural biological needs and this stromal cell implant is the procedure uh, to yeah. achieve that and today yeah. the procedure we took the adipose tissue from here, which was taken by Dr. Kitana Shah, the plastic surgeon, and then uh, from the tricell biologics machine, then for ultrasonification and uh, for uh, certification, and then I, you just saw me injecting, and that was grade three osteoarthritis, as you can see on the X-ray over there. Grade 4 is not suitable for that and grade 2 hopefully patients will not have too many symptoms. We have already injected the PRP here uh, half an hour ago so good distribution of and that's the procedure. Just that small uh, needle uh, uh, entry and that's all and tiny little cuts to take fat. As opposed to a big cut with the knee replacement, no metal, no artificial material, patient's own biology. Uh, we have six years or more follow up on this procedure, so hopefully she should have a good knee after this. Okay.